Hey guys, welcome to the Weeb Lounge. I am Nick, and in this character spotlight, we have a brand new work clothes edition of Aoi, everybody's favorite little weird antisocial elf girl with the plank wannabe thing, yeah. He took my job. Yeah, that says you know, whatever. All right, well, apparently Aoi decided to get a job at a factory or something, and now she has a single monocle thing for her. Yeah, the, her hair covers her eyes, so has plenty of protection. You don't only need the one eye, right? That's, yeah. Uh, that's not how real life works there, Aoi. Uh, she's going to learn what it is with that production line she has to stay in. But anyways... This character is actually pretty good. She is an S to SS tier character, and I'm going to get into the skills that you're going to find out why really quick. Skill number one, Poisonous Bullet. It is a frontline physical damage attack and poison. It also reduces their physical defense by up to 100. Now, that's actually pretty decent. Of course, the poison effects. We all know how poison works. Whatever it doesn't work very well at all, but it's got a poison, so there's that. Uh, the defense down is pretty nice, and of course, it stacks with other defense down things, which I will get to. Skill number two, a stun bullet. It is another frontline physical damage attack, but it also has a stun mechanic to it. So the stun is pretty short, but, you know, you can stun that frontline, and it's actually not all that bad. Um, if you're looking for Aoi here to do damage, she's not really going to be doing much damage, but she will help greatly other people do damage. Now, her EX skill uh, increases her physical attack. Now, if you have her at five stars... We're assuming it greatly increases physical attack. Now, we don't have her at five stars, and we can't find confirmation that that is actually what it is. So take that with a grain of salt, but it wouldn't make any sense to add, throw anything else in there. So probably physical attack damage up. Now, let's go ahead and get to the Union Burst. This is the most important thing about this character. Oh, this is, this is, this is something. Okay, this is going to help out with a lot of bosses, a lot of stuff. It, it helped me out with the EX4 fight a little bit. It has its limitations, but let's go ahead and get to it. The Union Burst is the friendly combo shot, and there is not a damn thing friendly about this. <sighs> Whatever. It, it targets the enemy furthest away, places a field on the ground, that also damages the enemy every time Aoi performs some kind of action. It also slows action speed. Now, the field... Uh, when you want play in the game, in the actual battle, the field's going to look like it's pretty large, but in all reality, it's not that big. Uh, it'll target the rearmost enemy, and essentially anything that happens to be right dead next to it, it will affect. Otherwise, it's not going to spread out very far. It, it, ju it just doesn't, especially in the EX4 fight. EX4 fight, uh, we found that it does affect the... You know how you have the two statues, One, the front one has three circles, the back one has three circles. Well, it affects the very back circle of the back boss and the mid one too. It spreads to the mid one. That's it. Okay? So it's not that huge of a stupid deal, but that, that's a weird mechanic of how that works. So don't expect it to spread very much. However, if you're fighting a single target boss, different story, right? Now, here's the thing with that AoE. Here's the coup de grace. Most importantly, it reduces physical defense by a massive amount. If you have this skill maxed out, it is 450 physical defense down. That is like the largest physical defense down mechanic I've seen, I believe, on any character. And remember, if you're fighting a single target, that, along with her other physical defense down that does 100, you know, that stuff stacks. So, rinse, repeat, do another Union Burst. She can bring physical defense down a very, very massive amount. So, that is, that, that's what make, makes this character, that Union Burst. That make, makes this character just top tier. Now, not too sure if she's considered S or SS tier, but I'm going to put her at SS tier. as one of those characters that you really want to get, and she'll work in pretty much any physical group. She's going to help you do damage. She's going to help you weaken the hell out of characters. I mean, jeez. Cool thing with this character though, you don't only have to keep her at three stars. You don't have to give her four or five stars. Uh, rank 11, 12, 13, somewhere around in there. That's really all as far as you have to take her. You might have to rank her up more depending if she's fragile or not or the star level. So she is a little on the fragile side, but otherwise you can keep her pretty low and she'll actually perform just the same. All right, now I decided to go ahead and do a hard mode here for a Mimi token or whatever. I, why? I don't know. I've got all the Mimis I need. I really do. 
But I uh, will throw her in here anyways. All right, like I said, man, the, the Union Burst is where, where she shines. It really is where she shines. Now, her first attack is going to be a little bit of an AoE with the poison there. And they're just, they could have just ticked that, died. I mean, that's, yeah. Like, those attacks don't really do that much. This is what's important. Now, you're going to see the field in the back, right, if it stays there for all that long. It affects that character. It didn't even touch them. And th this little whatever the heck rock thing that was, was standing in it. But wasn't affected by it. Very, very small effect. Uh, don't go by the graphic. Okay, the graphic isn't going to help you. It's just way in the back there, okay? I see you got that on her. Mimi was in it when she was right about there. But she walked right out of it and she's no longer affected by it. Alright. It's a really small field. But like I said, if you're fighting single targets... Whatever, you know, single target boss fights, all that's going to go on the boss. And that doesn't mean she's not useful in stupid little things like this. Because, you know, she still has the frontline attack that does physical defense down. So you're going to get some defense down in the back. You're going to get defense down in the front, just not as much. It's a lot of defense down going around all down. Yep. Uh, like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button. This is definitely a character that you want to get. If you don't have her, I highly suggest getting her before the gotch is over with. He is really, really good. And let's see, when does this thing end? It's still got some time to it. Let's see, on the 9th. So, yeah, you got a few days. Make sure you get to it. Make sure you get this character. It's going to be one that you re absolutely positively regret not getting if you don't get her. Plus, you get the extra Hunter memory fragments. Not that you don't really need it, actually. Because three stars is perfectly fine. It's all good. We'll see you in the next video.